it is quarter to six on a Sunday morning. The first thing to do is start with a morning routine. bench workouts versus bus bench workouts and also my training approach right now and also my nutrition approach so yes fingers crossed enjoy it um, I've got a banging black coffee we'll go find a better place to sit down and we will get started something I do want to start with this vlogging series is not just start doing follow me along days and all that shit because uh, the first thing I do is respect your time I want you to sit and watch these, but not be fucking bored out of your brains at seeing what I do in my day. I do want to try to keep these as short as they need to be, as long as I get across all the information. So yeah, I will try avoid being a boring fucker all the time. One people's issue I see with training is most of the time they think they absolutely need to be fucking smashing every single workout, going into the red zone when actually this isn't training at all and those same people that have been absolutely doing that still look the same, still look like shit. So, bus bench and park bench workouts. Bus bench, these type of programs we are expecting a result on time. The same way a bus would be if we expect a bus at half past five we expect it at half past five. The same with these bush bench workouts or programs, we expect a result. Whereas park bench workouts, that's just us sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the process. We probably should go through two of these a year only. These are eight to 12 week programs where we sit back and literally do everything we need to do to get a result. That's tracking our calories, tracking every single weight we lift. And then the rest of the time, we should be just just be doing a park bench workout. So we're just sitting back, ticking a box, exploring training, trying new things. Exhausting training is definitely not the way to get results. I can promise you that. In fact, I think it's destroying a lot of people's goals when it comes to training. People just trying to absolutely smash themselves. People just believe that fighting or training like super exhausting training is the only way to their goal, which is absolutely not the case at all. And in my experience, I see too many people training their absolute fucking ass off and they're never actually getting anywhere and they still look the same now. I do personally believe it's destroying people's like journeys towards their goals. They like absolutely kill themselves in the gym. Anyways, the epitome of bus bench workouts um, is you expect and you demand demand a result. That's what I'm doing with this program here. I'm going through a bus bench workout. I have an expected result um, at the end of this. So obviously my goal is a fat loss goal. Here, I'm gonna use every single tool I can to attack my war on fat loss. But this will go on for 12 weeks and after that I'll probably relax and go through a park bench workout. People just think that every single workout every day should be literally defending fucking Sparta against the Persians, which is not the case at all. Normally I would write out a little script for these videos, but today I'm just gonna try to go as raw as possible and just literally show the whole process of what I'm doing. So, in terms of tracking, um, I've got a really, really simple spreadsheet. I have to check whether I follow my day plan, which I try to do most of my work between six and two. I try to have a leisure between leisure time between two and 10, so a leisure time is doing what I want. Then I try go to sleep at 10 and then wake up around six. That is a simple day structure. Obviously, there's a lot more in there. With this, my self planners, I can't really see, but yeah. With my food, I'm trying to make meal one and two 
the same pretty much all the time. So I've been having either eggs on toast for meal one, Greek yogurt and whey, or OM's oats, which is oats, almond milk, whey, and cinnamon. Simple. So I just take all the decision making out of it. And then meal two, I try to keep as, as simple as possible. Again, it's either a stir fry, Greek yogurt and whey, or sometimes it's just even a shake. Something, one of the one of the best nutrition coaches out there who actually runs Mac Nutrition Uni, when he talks about fat loss, he even just simply says sometimes it's about not eating at all. And I feel like if I can just get through a hunger period, I may as well just not eat. Yes, that's not great for performance, but keeping the goal a goal is fat loss. I just need to keep my calories down as low as possible. What my coach has done from there is, if I get those two meals right, they're roughly 500 calories each. That gives me 1,200 to 1,800 for leisure calories. Here, there's no macros, there's none of that bullshit. Obviously, I know protein-wise, I probably need to hit somewhere between 150 to 200 grams of protein per day. And then literally for training, I have three weight sessions a week with one optional weight session. I do two outdoor bike sessions and then one run. Simple as that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have weights. Tuesday, Saturday, I, ha I have a bike. And then I also run on a Monday. And then I do have an optional flow session on a Thursday. If you would like to see that stuff, let me know and I'll put a video on that as well. I'm not gonna lie, like doing this stuff is actually, I'm gonna use the word hard um, because you wanna keep people engaged, but you also need to have the back of your head that you shouldn't care, you should just create, create, create. I wanna try to keep this as interesting as possible for you and definitely show more of my personality. But I also do wanna respect your time. So hopefully you enjoyed this very short vlog today. I promise I will get fucking better. And again, if you want to know anything about my process right now, please let me know. Positive update though, I was, I've had some new lows this week. I've been down to 101 kilos and 102 kilos, which is the on all time low for me in years, in absolutely years. Uh, so a quick summary of that stuff is, probably two, two times through the year for an eight to 12 week block, you should go through a pack, uh, sorry, bus bench workout, which is you, you demand a goal, you expect a goal. You normally want to do these when stress is pretty low. The normal when I see this is when I see people go for a breakup. I've never seen, I've never met people more highly, highly motivated when someone goes through a breakup. They want to get shredded and obviously get out there and do bits. Do this about twice a year. And then for the other six to eight months, you should just be ticking a box. You should just be exploring, training, enjoying, sitting back and relaxing. You do not need to absolutely cane it every single time. I do think you should train hard sometimes. You just definitely don't need to do it all the time because it just makes you miserable and not enjoy training. And then you're feeling sore trainers that you hate it. So yeah, remember that you don't need to be miserable all the time. Um, hopefully this has kind of cleared up other things I'm doing. If, again, you want to know any more, please, please, please let me know and I will start doing more videos on that stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. Oh,